Welcome back to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith, and this is... Luke Smith. In a previous unboxing episode, I pulled out Descent 2, and I kind of pushed it aside, and I said, ah, no one's interested in seeing this game. And I got a few YouTube comments and uh, a couple of personal emails from people a little bit concerned about my lack of respect for this brand new game from Fantasy Flight Games. And I want to let you guys know I was just kidding around. I knew people would be excited about seeing it. I was too, uh, but I pretended like I wasn't. <laughs> I've had a couple of games of this already, and I think what I might do is uh, put this on the short list of games that we'll uh, have as a potential vote you can do in a decider's perk level vote. We did this once before. Basically, we take a list of games that we're interested in doing, but we haven't scheduled into our series, and then people who have donated at the decider's level uh, get to vote on which one of those games they'd like to see featured next. So you guys get a say in, in what games we, we cover. So I think we'll do a decider's vote uh, maybe within the next month or so. And so if you'd like to get in on that, then go to our Indiegogo fundraiser page. You can do a donation there if you'd like to be in on that vote. Anyway, uh, related to this, we got a little box um, that came from one of our viewers, Cole Fisher. Now that's a name you might recognize because Cole is the gentleman who painted up the Space Hulk figures that we did in our Space Hulk series. And you know how awesome those looked. Yeah. They were, they were fantastic. Definitely. And Cole actually got some commission work uh, from that and he credited us with, with some of the inspiration for continuing to do that kind of painting work. So Cole, I just really appreciate that that contribution that you made to us. And look, the, the box is already popping open. <laughs> the figures in here are excited to get out because Cole, he heard that I was talking about maybe doing Descent 2, uh, possibly on our series, and he just wanted to contribute to us once again. So we painted up some of the figures from Descent 2 uh, to send along to us. So I do hope we get a chance to, to feature this game in our series because I'm sure these are going to look fantastic. So what I wanted to do, I haven't even looked at these yet. I, I cracked open the top, but I haven't gone into it yet. I want to show you guys what these look like because the least I can do for Cole is uh, possibly direct you guys to him in case you're interested in having some miniatures or some board game pieces uh, commissioned. So let me open this up. Let's take a look inside. And as I do that, I'll uh, tell you a little bit about how you can get in touch with him. Okay, he's got a little note here. Hey, pal, hope you like the figures. Sorry, only a few fluffies. <laughs> he did include some fluffies on the top. Very thoughtful, Cole. And of course, all of these miniatures are, are bubble wrapped. So I'll tell you what I'll do. Uh, I'll open these up, I'll display them out here, and as you guys get a chance to look at the miniatures, I'll tell you a little bit about how you can get in touch with Cole and a little bit about how his fee structure works. Cole's favorites to paint are board game pieces. He does large groups of tabletop figures as well, and they run around two and a half British pounds, which is $4 American, that's for the cheap and cheerful level of painting, all the way up to 10 British pounds or $16 a figure. Now, as an example, he recently painted an entire set of Mansions of Madness and Thieves of Cadwallon for around 70 to 100 British pounds for each of those sets. And while he does live across the pond from some of us, as a special deal, he's told me that if you mention you're coming from Watch It Played, he'll absorb the cost of mailing your figures back to you. So if you're interested in commissioning Cole for some work, you can contact him at peninsula.painting at yahoo.com and he'll give you a quote. Cole, these are beautiful. I'm thrilled. Uh, Luke, do you like your uh, dwarf figure? Definitely. <laughs> yeah, it looks amazing. Incredible. I'm going to put some pictures up on Facebook, on our Facebook page as well, just to show you some of his other work if you want a closer look at, say, his Mansions of Madness paint job and his Thieves of Cadwallon. Uh, I also put up a, a video recently of the Gen Con journey uh, that me and Pep did uh, when we went to the convention just a, a few weeks ago. Uh, the first 10 minutes is more of a silly uh, part of the trip, our adventuring there, and then the last 10 minutes is actual footage from Gen Con. So if you're interested in checking that out, please do. Our next video will be our continuation of the Puzzle Strike playthrough. I hope you'll join us. Thanks, Thanks for watching. For watching.